Hi guys, it's Hope from Cedar Hollow Gardens. And why am I holding this box cutter in a dangerous manner? I'm sorry. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, let me say to you, hello, my name is Hope and I'm a Cedar Hollow. And this is my winter project so that I continue to guard throughout the winter in Chicago zone 5B. So I wanna show you, I planted these November 21st, I believe. There's a box around the corner. I'll link that video where I planted some seeds in my raised planter box on the 16th of November and got, um, no, the 16th of November, they'd been in about three weeks and there were sprouts. Well, I decided I wanted to see by experimentation if you've seen just from Roots and Refuges growing under cover for less than $20 video. I did that in the backyard and in the front yard, I'm gonna do what I did last year, but this year I'm hedging my bets and I'm doing transplants from peat pellets. I had these because my husband bought them on clearance many years ago, we've had them around. I thought, why not give it a shot? I've got kale, I've got chard, I've got lettuces. So today um, I'm going to transplant them into these bags of soil and get the best soil you can find. Mine's just been sitting outside, so it's a little rigid actually, but we poked holes in the bottom for drainage and what we're gonna do, just like Jess advised us, is give ourselves a little planter box, basically, made out of a bag of soil. And I do this one-handed, for those of you who don't know, I am a disabled gardener, so if I can do it, you certainly can, if you're able-bodied. Anyways, that's the extent of the tool that I need. So the next thing I'm going to do is wet it a little bit so that I have some moisture for my plants to get More into. slowly, please. Yep, I am. Slowly because it is cold. The bag has not been opened, so the water is beating over the top. We want the water to soak in. And I'm just going to kind of stir it and fluff it a little bit with my hands to help things loosen up and soak through to get further down so I can get some things in here. So I'm gonna use all three of these for those plants because that's quite a few plants. But this way, once I planted them, I will put one of these plastic lids. This is just a storage bin, a translucent one from the big box hardware store. You can get them at the orange store, the blue store, the green store, doesn't matter where. Are you gonna put a whole gallon of water in each bag? I am. So I have to let water less frequently because it's winter it'll stay moist longer. And I want these transplants to have some nice moisture on their roots. So I'm going to take these ones, now that they have true leaves here, some kale of some sort. But I think I'm going to get this lettuce because I really, really like these red lettuces. So I'm going to transplant a few of those. And this is Saturday, December 21st, that I am transplanting lettuce in Chicago. In Chicago. <laughs> so, zone 5B. We've had snow twice at least. And you see, I had these in the grow room in my basement. And I will come back to you guys once I've got a few more planted. But just want you to know, just because it gets cool, doesn't mean that the growing season is over. If I can grow in Chicago, you too can, as John Kohler would see, would say, you too can keep on growing. And as many of our gardening buddies say, any harvest is a good harvest and I'm gonna get a harvest out of this. So be encouraged, be inspired, do this yourself, try it. You can't hurt to try it, it cost you I think the, the bin cost me seven bucks. The soil was the most expensive thing because I'm also a winter sower. So a couple of these are going in for winter sowing. And those cost me like 10 or 12 bucks a bag because it's really, really good soil. And that's what you want. So I don't have to feed it all winter. And I can come and do this as a cut and come again method and feed my family all winter long. So give it a try. Please like, share, subscribe, and come back for part two. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.